What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. We have a budget buck to talk about today. And this was loaned in from Alex over at Alex's, Alex's Knives and Such. There will be a link to his channel down below for sure. So thank you, Alex, for sending this in. He uh, has a small collection, a small YouTube channel, mostly budget stuff. Not a problem. I, you know, again, like I said on my last budget knife video from him, the Calamus, I think is what it was, um, Camelus. I show everything from the $10 range to the $10,000 range. And you're going to see some crazy stuff here soon that my buddy 50 Shades of Slash just sent in that's in that upper range of that ten to 10000 Um to the point where I didn't even want to ask him how much some of those were because it's, it's ridiculous to me. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with budget knives, guys. Like, I, I think we sometimes lose focus on the hobby. And I don't, you know, I, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff, right? I don't do Reddit. I don't do Blade Forum because that would be too dangerous to my bank account. Um, even though my brother sends me screenshots from Blade Forum all the time and says, oh, you should buy this, you should buy that. No, 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 no. Um, but I think we get caught up a lot in the higher end custom knives uh, or even higher end productions, I think we lose sight of the fact that there are decent knives in that sub 50 range. And I've talked about it many, many times. The Kubi KB237. One of my all-time favorite budget knives to recommend. $41, $42 on Amazon. I'll put a link down below just in case you're interested. And it comes in different colors and whatnot. I, I need to order a couple of more I want to use for giveaways. Um, but that there's nothing wrong with sub $50 knives. Even that Camelus at like $10, $11 is fine. This buck comes in at $25, give or take. Uh, and it's a Walmart exclusive. Okay. No problem. Let's dive into the specs and we'll take a close look. So it's just a hair over four and three quarters uh, closed. Eight and a quarter overall. I love this blade shape. It's kind of Skinner, kind of modified clip point. Uh, I don't know exactly what you call it, but I think it's pretty cool. And yeah, I mean, just aesthetically pleasing to me. The blade is 3.45 inches. The edge is 3.16. The blade steel is 420 high carbon. Okay, it's not a super steel. It's not 3V, it's not S90V. Again, for us average guys, it's totally fine. It will open the Amazon box that's coming to me today with some T6 bits so that I can disassemble the Olight O knife because I said I would do that when I did the video. But on some damned designs, I broke all all of my T6 bits. I had three of them and I broke them all on one stinking knife. So stop using T6, guys. Makers, stop. Go with T8s. So this would absolutely open that box that's coming today. Okay? And it would absolutely open the knife of box of the custom knife that I have coming today which is considerably more than $25. So 420 high carbon is just fine for all of us average people, okay? Blade thickness is 0.119. Overall thickness is 0 0.670. Weighs in at 4.5 ounces, and it runs on Teflon washers. But this thing is so stinking smooth, okay? absolutely smooth and it's got some dust in here I, I tried to clean it out before I got started but yeah it's got some stuff in there but hey whatever it's okay so let's zoom in and take a quick look 
great blade. I think it's a very cool style and shape blade. Now it is some super high tech fancy plastic handle with some rubberized textured kind of inlays. Actually the scales are more rubberized and the inlays are more hard plastic. It has a lanyard hole. One way pocket clip. Okay, it is right hand, tip up carry, end of story. Which I'm okay with. I'm right handed. Sorry, lefties. It is made in China. Again, I have no problem with that. Full length stainless steel liners. The liner lock. Disengages super easy. Super smooth. I wish that the detent was a little stronger, personally, because sometimes it will not deploy all the way. But if you think about it and you get it with authority, it will open every single time. Okay. I don't have a problem with this. It feels great in the hand. You can choke up. Like, I don't know, guys. I'm really kind of digging this knife for 25 bucks. Yeah, it's made in China. Yeah, it's got lower end steel. Yeah, it's got plastic grips and scales. Like, whatever. Okay, honestly, it's going to do everything you need it to do. I don't know. Are we hard using our knives? So let's do a couple size comparisons. Sharpie. And what, what is hard use? What's that even mean? I don't technically, I don't know that there is a definition. Spider Codelica. <clears throat> I would be remiss if I didn't take full advantage of this brand new Benchmade bug out that was just released yesterday at the time of filming. Thanks. I, I just, a quick shout out to Gil over at Wild About Sporting Goods. Loaned this in. <clears throat> it was my most viewed video of all time in the first 24 hours. Had over a thousand views in the first 24 hours. Super excited about that. And partially because Benchmade actually um, reposted one of my stories or a post on Instagram and tagged me, reposted my post and said, hey, this guy did a video, go check it out. Uh, I'm still kind of blown away by that. Uh, so anyway, here is the Demco AD 20.5. This is a size comparison. Benchmade Griptilian. And how about because, well, the Hellraiser P series from Red Horse Knife Works. So there you go, kind of a variety of different knives. And honestly, I think we need to, to not overlook the budget knives. You know, if we want to collect knives, great. And we all have our kind of genre that we collect. I collect higher end stuff, right? I just bought this recently from a buddy. I've got an, another custom coming in today. I've got two others coming in you know, Monday or, or Tuesday with the holiday. So, you know, I, I'm into the higher end stuff, but I have some lower end stuff. I own the small honey badger. Great knife. I own the Kubi and I carry the Kubi a lot. I don't really carry the honey badger. I have a, li a size limit. Like I, I think this is kind of too small for me to carry personally, but it's fun to have and to fidget with and, you know, cut open some boxes and things like that. Um, but, you know, I, I have small stuff too and I've got the budget stuff. So again, guys, 10 to 10 grand is what you're going to see on my channel. And if you don't like the budget stuff, hey, click on tomorrow's video or yesterday's video that is more of a custom thing or a more higher end production. I try to mix it up when I do my videos. I don't, I try not to just do budget, 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 back to back. I kind of mix it in. Same thing. I don't do custom, custom, customs. I do what I can. 
I don't always have a budget or a custom to mix in. So it, it all just depends, right? But you get a variety from me. And this is actually pretty cool. When he first sent it over and I opened up the, did the unboxing, I kind of looked at some of the things. I was like, oh, okay, sure, whatever. But the more I get to use and handle them, the more I appreciate them. So don't judge a book by its cover. Don't say, oh, that's just a buck. Psh. Oh, that's made in China. Psh. Now, you know, handle them, carry them, use it a few times, and then make your decision. That's all I got today, guys. Thanks a lot. Have a fantastic day.